So what's with these uh, central bank digital currencies? Well, as you know, at the moment we've got um, a fiat currency system. That's money that's backed up by, by nothing, really. Um, apart from people's confidence in it, we accept paper money, uh, not because it's backed by gold or silver or land or anything like that. Um, we, we use it because we have confidence in other people accepting it as a means of exchange. And obviously inflation can compromise um, fiat money's ability to act as an acceptable means of exchange. And that's basically where we're heading to um, because of this excessive money printing. It eventually it will cause a very, very sharp uh, inflation. So um, plans are already underway um, by the Bank of England, the European Central Bank, the Federal Reserve over in America to introduce uh, a central bank digital currency uh, using a blockchain technology similar to Bitcoin. So that will mean the end of physical cash. Now, there are some implications of that. Uh, the main one being um, that you won't be able to take your money out of the bank again um, in a system where there's digital money only. So that will mean that uh, central bankers will have the opportunity to uh, impose negative interest rates on people. So what that might mean is that you might start the year with £100 in the bank and end the year with £95. So rather than the bank paying you interest, you pay the bank interest. That's what a negative nominal interest rate would mean. So um, that system isn't possible at the moment with physical cash because you can just go to the bank and take your cash out. With digital, uh, central bank digital currency, obviously you wouldn't be able to go to the bank and remove physical cash uh, because there wouldn't be any physical cash to remove from the bank. Um, other implications of it are even more important, um, such as complete control uh, by central banks. So, um, for example, even in terms of healthy eating advice, advice wouldn't be needed anymore. Uh, you could introduce a system whereby people's spending would be tightly regulated. You know, so for the good of society and to save the NHS, you could have a programmable central bank digital currency whereby um, you're only allowed to buy so much meat per month or so much uh, fizzy drinks or crisps or um, maybe you get um, a less negative nominal interest rate if you adopt a vegan diet and the government would be able to know what you're spending your money on in a central in a central bank digital currency system because every single uh, pound of your spending will be tracked by the central bank similarly if you did something um, such as criticize the government on social media you know again maybe the government could impose a higher rate of tax on you or if you choose to borrow money, you might have to pay a higher interest rate because um, you, you know, you're, you're not uh, a good citizen. Um, so there's all sorts of um, concerns that, that certainly I have about central bank digital currencies, just giving central bankers and governments way too much power over you. Um, you know, again, at its most extreme, um, the government should it choose to pursue tyranny but you wouldn't even need to build concentration camps or gulags you could just cut people off um, from their access to their digital cash at just a computer uh, keystroke you know you'd go to buy your groceries at a local shop and your transaction would be declined by the central bank because um, your social credit score isn't up to scratch um, this system already exists in china it's not a conspiracy theory it already exists. Um, now, the, the other thing as well is what could we do to stop the system? Well, to, a, to implement um, central bank digital currency, you'd obviously need to have everybody signed up to a um, digital ID. So from the central bankers point of view, it's very fortunate um, that uh, COVID's come along and um, as a solution apparently to, to COVID, um, we're, we're all going to have to have these digital vaccine um, passports, which really are uh, certificates of um, digital identity, um, which could easily be incorporated into um, a central bank digital currency. Um, so what can we do to kind of fight back against this? I, I guess is 
to keep on using cash and to resist any form of uh, medical apartheid. Um, because without the certificates of vaccinated identity, um, they won't be able to roll out central bank digital currencies. Um, hopefully you won't think that this is, is conspiratorial because these things are already happening. It's difficult to be conspiratorial about things that have already happened. Okay, that's it.